Arcade Perfect My Arse Right, okay guys, welcome to our Arcade Perfect My Arse um, This is uh, the first actual gaming video that I have put out in, ooh, I would say about three months, I think it is. Um, if you're a regular to my channel, you'll probably know that I've had a few things uh, to sort out on the personal front, um, so I've just not had a chance to do any videos. I have been putting out a lot of videos. But anyway, listen, uh, you're not here to listen to me talk fish about that. This is uh, Arcade Perfect. Now, basically what I do is I look at, I'll play an arcade game and then I'll look at the various home ports and see if they're shite or not. So this uh, is Volified by Tato. I think it was released, was it 1989, something like that. Let me actually start the game, I can talk and play. Despite what all women say, men can indeed multitask. Love the uh, sort of B-movie soundtrack to this. Now the idea of this game, uh, it's a follow-up to a game called Quix which was a very basic game, the idea being you control, I don't know quite what the thing is, you control this little thing that basically it controls the perimeter of the screen, but when you fill in, ah damn it, the idea being is you've got to try and fill in the screen, colour it in, whilst avoiding the various uh, sort of baddies that can float about the screen. So you've got to kind of try and time them, I think that gives me a power up. Gives me points. Ah, so how do I? How do I pick that up? Can I pick that up? I'm not quite sure how. Right, how do I get that? Does anybody know how I get that? That doesn't do anything. No, I've got no idea how I pick that up. Don't know. But yeah, I think the idea is you've got to try and. You'll see at the bottom. That was a bit silly. You'll see at the bottom, uh, it shows you the percentage. Now I know in Quicks, you had to fill in... Was it 75%? Damn it. That's game over, I think. Let me go for one more go, I think, because that was a bit rubbish. Right, let's, can we skip that? It was a long trip. Blah, 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 blah. It's like the credits, the end credits to a film. It just goes so quick, you can't actually read them. How do we get a power up? Ah, damn it! Now in Quicks, when you, you press a fire button, and then it, it kind of sends out, it, you know, you start eating, eating the screen or filling in the screen, whatever you want to call it. But in Quicks, if you pressed, if you held, ah, there we go. Oh, man, it. Ah. Ah right, I've got a laser, right, got you. Ah right, okay, that's pretty good. Time stop. You can see there. Whoa, 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 whoa! Damn it, I'm up to 44%. Let's see if we can try and... Ah, arse. It pays to be patient. <laughs> right, that's the arcade one. Let's go and take a look at some... I'm putting any shite. Let's go take a look at some uh, home ports. Right, okay, first up is the Commodore Amiga. Now, it's got that horrible filtery thing. Mm, don't like that at all. Um, I can't figure out how to turn it off, but it doesn't matter. So, let's see, start level, let's just batter straight in. Oops, a daisy. Oh, I was going to watch that, not to worry. Right, so first impressions. Graphics look pretty much arcade perfect. Oh, bollocks. As opposed to my absolutely pish <laughs> gameplay skills. I don't know what these, they look like raccoons. Oh. Now what you want to try and avoid is Avoid doing what I've just done and making a little crazy kind of path because the problem is you've got to uh, follow 
the line that you've created. Time stop. Oh, so what we can do. Right. That's certainly handy. Oh, we might even complete a level. Let's try and build a wee wall. Oof. Ah, damn it! Oh, don't be game over. Whew. Hey, there we go, ninety percent. That's actually really good. It plays really well. Plays well, looks looks apart. No complaints from me in this one. Right, I'll play a couple. A wee teeny bit. Right, so the body's now changed. It's actually a really good game. I mean, it's it's even the original Quix was probably one of the most basic games you could ever play, but it's quite addictive. But I like the idea that this one introduces. Sort of power ups. So I think power ups is kind of the key to getting a good score. Oh, that thing's just disappeared. Ah, damn it. Right, no, that's excellent. That's the Commodore Amiga one. Let's crack on. Right, next stop is the PC Engine one. I'm playing this um, in a very, very small window, so I'm not really getting a good representation of the graphics. But from what I can see, it, it looks alright. Maybe lacking in colour slightly. Right, come on, how do I get this? How do I pick up? Ah, there we go. Right, so what I want to do is. Is that pausing it? I'm not too sure. Quite sure about the little uh, that noise that would get slightly annoying after a, a wee while. I think it seems to the wee thing that you control seems to move quicker than other versions, which certainly makes this a bit easier. played the arcade one, the uh, second level baddie was different, so this is slightly different. I mean, it's the same game, but it's kind of got different, different levels. And I don't want to speak too soon, but I would say that this version it's probably a bit easier than uh, certainly the arcade one. Yes, you've got it. You can't like go across left or up. You've got to go around the green border. So just be aware of that when you decide to do some little crazy zigzaggy line. It just makes it a little difficult. Go! Boom! Yeah! That's the PC Engine one. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's pretty faithful. The level layout, I think, has differed a wee bit. But, you know, graphically wise and sound wise, it's absolutely fine. So, let's 
batter on. Right, this is PC DOS. Uh, I don't know if I can get the joystick working, let's give it a go. And it's not working, so it's going to be going to be cursor keys, I'm guessing. So let's see, one player, two player, let's go for one player. Let's go for nice and easy. This this is super impressive. I wasn't expecting that. I've got to say. This is really really impressive, and it plays well with the cursor keys. Obviously, you've got up, down, left, and right. Yeah, I never really. I never really think of the PC. I'm walking straight into that, I'm an absolute twat. Oh, that was close. Ooh. Yeah, this is super impressive. Ah, oh, damn it. I've been having a go with that. Even the sound is excellent. Ah, continue. Good. And I, I certainly never really think of the PC as being a particularly capable machine as far as sort of arcade ports go. Oh, come on, that's a silly. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Ah, bugger. I guess there's that a different key for shooting. Anyway, listen, that is a PC DOS one. That is really, 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 really good. Right, one more to go, guys, then we'll do a wee roundup. Right, okay, this is the Commodore 64 one. Now, interestingly, um, I didn't know this until I actually started making this video. This appears to be the only 8 uh, bit computer version. There does not appear to be a version for the Amstrad or the ZX Spectrum, which is really strange. Does anybody know why that would be the case? It, it does, it seems, well, when did it come out? Come out 1989? No, I mean, they were still making, the Spectrum was still very much a thing back then, and so was Amstrad, so it's strange. If anyone knows why there was no Spectrum or Amstrad one, let me know. Weird, anyway, let's batter on with this. Again, a little, uh, I don't know what it is you actually control, a little spaceship thing that you control, it sort of moves a quite a bit quicker than this one. Whoa. Which does, arse, does make it that wee bit easier. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing here which would indicate why there's not a Spectrum in C6, uh, in Amstrad one. You know, it's not like it's some sort of, uh, oh, it, it couldn't do the game. I mean, it's a very, very simple game. Strange. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be genuinely interested to know what the reason is. Why was there no... Uh, no Amstrad and a Spectrum one. And any, uh, <laughs> as you probably know, the Commodore 64, it gets a lot of slating for having nothing but browns. Now, this game does not really help that matter because it's nothing but browns. Browns and blacks. No, in fact, it's just browns, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Let's try and let's try and make a beeline right up to the top. Oh. 
69%, so yeah, you need to get 70 to move on. Close. What the hell's that thing? Why is that thing sitting on the... That thing's not moving. Is it stuck? You've just got to bide your time. <laughs> Half a percent to go. That should do it. Ah, wait a minute. It's not... It's not moving on. Ow, oh, arse. Possibly it's a... Uh, I know Quicks was 75%, maybe this is more, I don't know. Well, it must be. It's 80% maybe. Boom, yep, yeah, must be 80%. That's excellent. That's, uh, that's really nice. Right, now see this is very very uh, faithful to the to the arcade one it's got the that was the arcade second level the one thing I'm not overly I don't like about it is why is it all just kind of one colour the first level was all browns and this one is all blues strange But you know what? It plays excellent. You could use slightly better colours, possibly slight variation. It's actually kind of hard to differentiate between the background and the bit you've kind of filled in. Or, but yeah, arse. Yeah, you've got to be patient. No point in running like that blindly into death. Anyway, that is the C64 one. That is really, really good. Super impressive. Nothing wrong with that at all. Right, okay, this is the Atari ST one. Hey, right, let's just jump straight in. Right, the sound uh, sounds very similar to the Amiga, but it sounds a wee bit more scratchy. I don't know just whether that's the emulator or not, I'm not too sure. I mean, graphically, it's spot on. Absolutely arcade perfect. Movement mm, is a wee bit, it's not silky smooth. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, that was lucky. Let's pick up the power up. So, how do we get that then? Oh. Time stop, right. What do we want to do here? Hey! I think it sounds like this, the the sound has been sampled from the arcade one, and I don't think the oh, you know what I was going to say I don't think the ST is as good at sampling as the Amiga, but that's probably complete bollocks. What would I know? Given that the ST is actually used by a lot of musicians with the MIDI interface. Close. <laughs> I did try to move up there, honest. Ah, bollocks. 
What am I doing? What am I doing? Right, anyway, listen, that's a Tar ST one. That's pretty good as well. Not quite as posh as the Amiga, I don't think, but. Right, let's take a look at another one. Right, okay, this is the very last version. This is on the, I was going to say the Sega Mega Drive. It's actually, it was only released in Japan. Um, was it called a Mega Drive in Japan? I think it was. It was called, uh, obviously, it was called the uh, the Genesis in the US. And it was definitely called the Mega Drive in the UK, so I think it might be called the Mega Drive in Japan. I think. If I'm wrong, please tell me. So anyway, yeah, Vola 5. That actually looks like Vola 5. Two Vs. Yeah, anyway, let's get started. I like the music, I must admit. Very atmospheric. Alright, let's just jump straight in. On. I'm so impatient. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> it is also very difficult. Or I am just crap. The sound in this is excellent. Oh, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'll do it. Ooh, close. Ah, but speed. Come on, don't die now. Lasers, how do I fire lasers? This should make it a wee bit easier. One less thing to contend with. Ooh. Hey, where are we doing 68%? I mean, the movement of that thing is completely random, so you've just got to be really careful. Ow, arse, don't die now, come on. 76. 2% to go. Boom. Excellent. That is really, really good. Right, listen, I'm going to do a wee recap. Sorry, I've just... Uh, Stuck that right in front of the screen. I do apologise. Just wanted to see what versions we've got. So yeah, let's see. The Commodore Amiga one is really good. No gripes with that one at all. Um, Atari ST one again. It's it's pretty good. The uh, what do you call it? The sound effects are a wee bit more scratchy. The kind of digitised sound is not quite so good. Got to say, super impressed with the Commodore 64 one. That's really excellent. Um, really surprised again why there's no Amstrad or Spectrum one. If anybody knows the reason for that, then answers on a postcard. PC Angel one's not bad. Colours lacking slightly. Um, the surprise one for me is the PC DOS one. So let's think in third place. Um, let me just review what I've got here. Third place, I am going to go for the Commodore Amiga. It's pretty much arcade perfect. It's really, really good. Second place, I'll probably have to go for the Sega Mega Drive. I'm not quite sure how authentic it is to the arcade one, but it's it's a great game. Maybe I'm being a wee bit unfair then because I mean, it's maybe not a sl it's maybe not an accurate conversion. But now nah, I'm going to stick with the Sega Mega Drive in second place. But for me, head and shoulders above all of them is the PC DOS one. 
really surprised at just how well it plays, how well it looks and even sounds. It really does look and sound like the arcade one. So that is it guys, that's another arcade perfect in the bag. If there's a game you want to see me feature in this series, just put your comments below. As always guys, thank you very very much for watching.